It's beginning to look a lot. Oh, look at him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Charlotte, can we see the Libya Express? Oh, look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, Charlotte, can we see this? Happy Christmas. No, just... Welcome to the train. It's me. Hi. Hi. You right? Oh. Hi. Where are you? Downstairs or upstairs? Good morning, Georgie Cobbridge Cole. How are you? I'm alright. I'm alright. Welcome to the madhouse. Yeah? Have we got a delivery yet? They've just called saying they're coming between 9 30 and 10. I've got to send a couple of emails and I've got to have some breakfast. Awesome. Do you like your coffee? Yes, please. Good. What's happening this morning? I'm getting a techno gym bike. What's a techno gym bike? It's basically techno gym peloton rival. So, what's the peloton? Oh, we're not here to promote the peloton bike. We're oh. here to promote the techno gym bike. This amazing new bike. So, techno gym is one of the biggest gym equipment companies. They have launched this bike to rival the peloton. Are you a big spin fan? I love spinning and since I put in a little you know say a gym that's like grand a little exercise area at home I haven't done any spinning I'm actually really missing it anyway we wrote a piece on this new bike and they said do you know what one I was like hell yeah that's a no-brainer right yes please how do you get motivated to do a spin class at home well oh, funny you should ask you can virtually join either a one rebel class or revolution which apparently is like Milan's most premium biggest bestest gym so you can join a class with revolution or one rebel you can basically go from home amazing what that? this is where technology meets Oh, what's happened? We've got a delivery! <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? We have a delivery for you from Techno Gym. Woohoo! Yes, please. Where would you like it? Down the stairs. Do you want to come have a look? Down here. All that's going to be tight. It's the only way down. There is another entrance, but it's blocked by scaffolding. Oh, okay. We have got sofas. Bridges. Them sofas come down them. Yeah. Down. We'll give it a go anyway. Come on, you guys. You can do it. Pivot. Remember that episode? You what? Pivot. Yeah, what is that from? It's from friends when they live with the sofa. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. Oh look at this. Going there. Completely different. Plus it's not dry yet. Oh wow, it's like a completely different room. Do you think? Yeah, well yeah, it feels like smaller, doesn't it? A bit smaller, but that's because yeah. you had this massive glass roof on last time. Yeah, but it's not gonna be a torture chamber and a sweat box. Which is the key thing. Anymore. Okay then, point out, what's gonna be where? Sofa area, French doors, sash windows. Give you three guesses what that's for. Is it for microwave, yes, <laughs> sash windows. Nice. With a window seat. The table here there used to be doors into the dining room there. How long is it gonna take to be finished? The decorators start I need to rescue that. Decorations start tomorrow. Ow. The doors go in on Monday. I just broke my nail a little bit. That's upsetting. Ooh. Ah. What's that? This is my floor. And what's it made of? Parquet. It's not ceramic or anything, is it? No, it's wood. And this is the dump. I love what you've done, please. Oh, I don't. Oh, no, my poor nail. See, the dining room's looking good. Let's <laughs> check out my bedroom. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Yeah. I really like it. I'm really going to really like it. What style would you call it's this? Daniel, like rustic, distressed. <laughs> Shabby chic. Bathroom. Absolute shithole. Yeah. Shithole. 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 Oh yeah, your chair. Oh, this is cool. We've hijacked Coco's room. How cute, it's this wallpaper. Where'd you get the wallpaper from? Blythefields, nice, right? Yeah, really nice. And then my bathroom is getting there. It's nice, isn't it? Where'd you get the tiles from? Artisans of devices. And my mirror that we bought together. Oh yeah. Ah, painted it. Upcycled. Oh, 70 quid that cost me. Who painted it? You didn't paint it yourself. Pretty did you? Well did. Yeah. Oh, well done. I did so, I'm so surprised. Uh, but I know, I just thought you would have outsourced it. That's all. No, I did that all by myself. Fantastic. I, for one, am very proud it's of cool, you. It's good, isn't it? Here's my chair. Oh, yes. How good does it look? This is it now. I feel like we should send a photo of it back to the guys that we oh, bought yeah. it from. Oh, well, please. Isn't that, that awesome? Yeah. Oh, is that for me? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh, Do you manage? Yes, yeah, isn't it? I've seen it. It's, it's, it's not as big as it looks in the box. Woo! Look at that! <laughs> oh, do I get to fill the plastic off? Yeah. That really is exciting. The great unpeeling. Three, two, oh, look at that. How's that make you feel? You're in my blooming phone. Oh, no. Can that go? While you guys are here, can we turn this one and then put it there? They're both going to face that way. That's a proper piece of kit, isn't it? This is also an awesome piece of kit. My Max Trainer M7 is freaking cool. I mean, I am sorted. Okay. Hi, Jess. Hi, Georgie. Hi, the bike is here, okay. but the chap is not. I'll give her a call now. None of the people there sitting are doing anything. Guys, you're not here for a demo, are you? No. no? I don't think so. No, no, no. <laughs> stop then. Do you want to see? This is my new keep organised. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? A shopping list. No, Coco. Where's Coco going to be? Going to a friend. Well, lucky Coco. Okay. What Rotto and Mimi are you going to have for tea? Maybe they can have. Pasta and broccoli. Nice. Bye. 
Hi. Someone called Charlie is 15 minutes away. Perfect. Oh, well, I'm in the snack cupboard. People are going to think we only eat junk food. Really? You what ready? have you got? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, are you waiting for the apocalypse? What's going on? <laughs> I married an accountant who likes deals. Buy in bulk. I said to my husband, I don't think we need <laughs> any more options. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I do quite a lot of stuff in this house. My husband has one job and it's the Ocado. Because I did it one and I didn't get enough deals. So he banned me from doing the Ocado. You've got a lot of pretzels, I see. Love pretzels. Saw them earning a snack jack. Pretzels and hummus. Pretzels and hummus? I've never had Oh, you haven't lived. Okay. These are a new find. Corn chips but pops. They're really good. Yeah, they they definitely do. What flavour are they? Salt. Here we go. I like those. Oh, this is a bit stale. Yeah, I was going to say they're a bit stale. They don't taste as crispy as I was expecting. I think maybe the pack has been open. Try another one. one. Take two. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Well, who made these? I don't know who you are, but you sold me a stale pack. Sell by date, May 2020. Okay, right after you got. Yeah. Oh my god, they're the best. Why furrows? What's furrows about? No, it's always it. Oh, right. Like a field. Love sun bites. They're really good. You can't beat a what's it. Can can't you? beat a what's it. You, know what you can't beat. So many good squares. So many good squares. Absolutely love so them. So good. What else? Skips. Hang on, hang on. There you go. I mean, these are my favourites. I genuinely, there's two more bags in that corner. Genuinely love sweetens making hippies. So good. Children don't like those, so they're mine. Mini bags and Maltesers. Popcorn, obs, hula hoops. You are so sorted for snacks. Barbecue flavour. Oh, these are good. Do you ever buy these? I do buy those and they're amazing. You can literally eat a whole bag within like seconds. You definitely can. And, and, hang on. These are really good. We love these in the office. They're the best. And mm -hmm. we have lots of these as well. Smoky barbecue. The peas. Oh, so good. How often do you have to restock? Quite often. Really? Yeah. Friday night, Saturday night with the children. Snacks and nibbles. They love it. And Sunday night, weekend night, they have a medley strip snack. What's good? I found a dining room table that I love. Well, I haven't found it. Rosie Hayes Antique. It's also a fine furniture specialist has found it for me. Can you see it? 3.25 meters. Quite big. Flush, isn't it? I think that's beautiful. It's really nice. You're in the market for some antique furniture. This is the lady. Rosie Hayes. Oh dear, was that Mystery Rich in your story? Oh my god, three people! Mystery Rich! Hi Rich! Oh Rich! Gee, what are you doing? Let me take it down. Ta da! <laughs> I'm in trouble with Rich as I revealed his identity. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Are you Charlie? Yes. Hi, Charlie. Hi. I'm Georgie. How are you doing? Yeah. Set Legend Bike is a streaming service on a bike, effectively. You can stream your favourite classes, one Rebel Virgin Active, directly to your home and join in that class from your comfort of your own home. We're in, we're in. You can even look by your favourite train, so you can make it a really personalised experience to how you like to train. She looks cool, Jocelyn. Well, Start class. Okay. Ooh, here we go. How do you feel? I'm alright, I'm alright. Oh, there's Jocelyn. So that's second position here, I'm off your feet now. How do you feel, G? Yeah. Feeling burn? Yeah! To the line, two, uh, one, to get down, go no. Drop, three, two, one, hey. Oh, that is so cool! I love it, I love it, I love it. I can really feel myself over it. It's so hard at home sometimes to really be that disciplined. Thanks, Charlie! How did that go? Mmm, really good. I'm thrilled with that. That's like gym standard tip. In your home with access to one rebel spin classes. Pretty mega. Already just having that little space saves me so much time in the morning. I used to waste like 25 minutes in the car getting to the gym and back. So much more easy to fit in. Just nip in and do half an hour. It's not like this big like procedure. I can't wait to get spinning again. Ooh, you think it's cold out there? This is cold. Oh, what's in this? It's got my name on it, right? Well, Georgie Courage Cole, what's on your desk? Why are you here? Just have a quick race through. <laughs> Do you know what I need, Rich? Yeah. Very fine letter right now. You see? Oh, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Yeah, that is going to do well this Christmas. Gorgeous present. Sean Esther. I thought you'd like one of our new red shorty sets. Really lovely pajamas. Oh, I do, Sean Esther. Very festive. Thank you. How nice. Scotch guard. What are you going to use it on? Your new sofa or a car? Yeah, yeah, someone said that they've got red wine all over their sofa. Scotch guard's definitely the way to go, yeah. I've got four cans of that. What's in here? Amelie. Oh, I've heard of this. Botanical beauty brand. Botanical beauty. alchemy. Cleansing balm. Face balm. Nocturnal nectar. City screen. Devoted to harnessing the health and beauty giving properties of nature. Formulations delivered in three key areas. Radiance. Detox. Sleep. The Amelie effect is to cleanse. Check. To mist. Check. Essence. Check. Oil. Serum. Or balm. Oh, lovely. Um, I'm really taking that home. Georgie, what is this? I don't know, because I haven't ordered anything. Okay. I hope it's not like a brochure or something. What we got, what we got? Dodo bar all. A gift from us to celebrate, oh, this is Annabelle's collaboration. A gift from us to celebrate our first ready to wear collaboration now available at Netta Porte. Annabelle's the club? Yeah. Very old. It's cool though. Very Annabelle's. Winter getaway collection by by Annabelle's Jungle Bar. If you haven't been to Annabelle's, the new Annabelle's is incredible. Really impressive. This is a beach cover up, right? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, I like that. That's what's on my desk. What are we doing now? We are out today. Oxfam on the King's Road. 
going to do a little charity shop challenge. Do you often shop in places like Oxfam? Yes, I do actually. It requires a bit more effort than just popping into a high street shop. The satisfaction that you get from finding a real gem in the midst of all the bits in a charity shop is super satisfying. It's a real pleasure when you do manage to find something good. It's a Monday, hopefully after the weekend, when people have we had a bit of a clear out. See if we can maybe get some cool bits. Film a little challenge for social. Yeah, exciting. Hi guys, it's Polly. We are just outside Oxfam on the King's Road in Chelsea. See if we can find some really great pre love pieces. See what we can get. Most people know Oxfam by their local high street shops where you come to donate clothes and pick up a really great bargain. People who want to do their part for the environment as well. Shopping sustainably, doing your part to fight poverty around the world. All of the money that we make selling donations does go to humanitarian crises and fighting poverty. What can you see, Polly? A lot of jumpers, a lot of black. This is kind of my jam. Double breasted coat, Michael Kors. Really heavy, lovely coat. Nice gold button. Would you call that a pea coat? Yeah, maybe I'd call that a pea coat. It's only £70, so really good price. Good white shirt there as well. French connection. £7. £7. £7. Seven pounds. Rag and bone here as well. 22 quid. Marge, oh my god. How nice is that? What's the price point? £45. £45 pounds for Marge bag. Uh, nice selection of knitwear here as well. Oh my god, look at that. Tweed boot bag. Jacket. That's my favourite so far. It's Zara. That is in the shops right now for way more, and it's £15. Pounds. Kind of a no brainer, isn't it? Fun. Okay, so I've just pulled out this amazing real leather blazer which is 55 pounds just love this love that it feels a bit lived in if you want to wear something a bit different to a pair of leather trousers or a biker I've got five great bits that I really want to try on so okay I just got changed into my first piece oversized from French Connection how's it going really good Polly's obviously a little star she's a seasoned that. professional she is piece number three is this great little tweed bootface style jacket Hey, this is my favourite so far, I think. So cool. Love it. Really, really like this. It's super warm, snuggly, quite structured and tailored, which I think gives a really nice silhouette. Such a big fan of this as well. How am I going to choose? Mm, I'm going to have to make a decision now what I would like to purchase. And there's so many nice things. Narrow it down. Top three. Which ones are they? This coat. You can never have too many coats, right? It's cool. I mean, they happen to be all coats and jackets. I just love outerwear. Cardigan, jacket type, bootle style style, and then the leather blazer. I'm just not sure. What would you choose? I'm thinking Pico. Are you thinking Pico? That's a piece of me. You've helped me make my decision, guys. And the winner is this coat. How did that go? I think that really went good. really well. So impressed by the yeah. choice in there. And it was really hard to make a decision on the piece that I wanted to take away. I'm jealous of what Polly got. Brand yeah. new, like you would want to buy that. Essentially if you saw brand it new, store. wasn't it? So Looks pleased amazing. with that. Oh, can't wait to wear it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, Loss. How are you doing? Mm, well, how are you? Very well. What's happening now? We are having a talk with Harriet and Ellie from Stuart's Law. What are we going to be talking about? Women's rights. All the things women should know before they move in with their boyfriend, get married, get divorced, things you want to know but don't know who to ask. I think we're really British in this country about asking about money, what we're entitled to, how to plan for worst case scenario. Should you get a prenup? Is it just for people in Hollywood? Should we get a prenup? I don't know. Let's find out. I am Ellie Hampson Jones. I'm an associate at Stuart's, specialise in family and divorce. Yeah, I'm Harriet. I'm also an associate at Stuart, also specialise in family and divorce. And so we deal mostly with married couples, the breakdown of their relationships, what happens when you're not married but you're living together in a relationship. Did you watch that TV show, The Split? We did. <laughs> Funnily enough, our firm actually consulted on a split. Season two is coming out next year. I'm going to be an extra. <laughs> exciting. We spent a great day on set. The feel of it is very close to what it feels like to work in a yeah. firm. If there's one key takeaway tonight, what is it? Be informed. Keep good records. That's our number one takeaway. Do you feel like you know enough about this stuff? I know nothing. No, I know absolutely nothing. Yeah. They could take me for all I'm worth and I wouldn't be able to stop it. Oh my god. I'm going to call something. Does this girl better? She's right ready. <laughs> She's rolling in it and she's ready to be taken advantage. Come, quick. She's got Four pounds in her monzo, quickly. Do you know what to do in the event of a divorce? I don't, and that's what I'm here to learn. Do you know what I just found out? What? These guys consulted on the split. Oh! <laughs> I love that show! So did I. You are looking at an extra, an extra Is Mary split. Uh, Is it coming back? Uh, yeah, there's a season two. Oh, well that's a good place to start. Did anyone watch the split? Yes. You both consulted? Our firm consulted. Is anyone wondering what on earth the split was? I loved it. Oh, I loved it. Well, thank you so much for coming. This is Harriet. 
and Ellie very kindly come in to talk about really quite depressing stuff. <laughs> you know, you've got to know this stuff. You think you're marrying the man of your dreams, but you know, it might all go wrong. Uh, Hopefully it won't, and we'll all live happily ever after. Yes. But, you know, as independent women, absolutely. Yeah. Everyone's hopefully going to have long, successful careers. It's important to um, be in control, and yeah. Anyway, I'm all ears. And my husband will be a bit miffed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't put this in my routine. Thank you so much for having us today. It's a phrase that sometimes gets used in the press, very popular, and as I said, is actually very misleading. One of the parties might need ongoing financial support, then the court can order that. So there's equally no merit in us as women being something away because we have full Exactly. Absolutely. That's absolutely yeah. right. Absolutely. We will happily take any more questions. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you yours as well. You know, I'm just going to have your wits about you. Thank you so much. Thank you. How was that? So, three top tips. Okay, what are they? Push the budget for the engagement ring, because he's not allowed it back. Keep records of everything. And spend, because if you're negotiating what you're entitled to to live your life, and you've shopped in Lidl, then you ain't going to get very much to live on. Thank you so much. Let's do something else. Thank you. Thank you. you make it that? What was your major takeaway? I don't think I quite realised that actually when you do get married all the assets are just completely put in a pot regardless of I knew that things were worked out based on needs and things but I didn't realise that it starts from 50% regardless of who owns what. Nice to meet you guys. Bye guys. It's so good. It's beginning to look a lot. You've been inside already. Yeah I've been inside. I haven't seen the tree. But this may as well have a like, carol soundtrack right? I listen to here. Christmas music on my way here Buble? Obviously Where are we? We are outside Claridge's Bright and early It's November the 21st Which in my book is time to start celebrating Christmas It's the gateway It's the gateway And Claridge's have basically confirmed that for us this morning They are unveiling a Christmas tree I think they've kind of taken it upon themselves To be like London's official festive destination And I'm, I don't mind it I'm here for it Every year Claridge's collaborates with a fashion designer To create their Christmas tree And this year the designer is Christian Louboutin I'm sorry what? Yeah Oh hey Hello. Good morning, Georgie Corridge Cole. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Early start. We're about to get really festive. It's yeah. quite exciting, isn't it? Are you allowed to celebrate yet? Technically, I'm a bit of a Scrooge before December, but I'm going to make an exception this year. But it's the 21st of November. Yeah. Charlotte's back from her honeymoon. Okay. Basically Christmas. <laughs> Plus, I've got a two-year-old who is learning Jingle Bells for her Christmas show. Oh, she said to me when I get home from work is, Mummy, can you sing Jingle Bells? Tara just have very kindly given us an exclusive preview. It's launching today, but we're here an hour or so earlier than everybody else. Check out the tree. Okay, oh, cool. it's like a grotto. Yeah. For adults. What are we going to do now? We're going to go look at that shop. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a train. It's a train. It's a train. Are we talking about the train? Carriages. You can have dinner on the train. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Look at the Mark slippers. Mm. I do like the slippers. That's a premium slipper. Love them. Those are locked. Which gentleman wouldn't want a pair of those on Christmas Day? Very debonair. Oh, for a sexy candle. What can you smell? I'm not very good at that. It smells like a really good candle. Oh, my God. It smells <laughs> yes. really good. Oh, Buster. Look at Buster. How English does Buster there look? My family <laughs> are honey mad. That would be such a good, good present. Great gift. It has a little etched B on the glass. Oh, is so that nice, the pudding? I have the Claridge's dinner service. Do you remember at the wedding present company? I spotted my dinner service. Yeah. I remember coming to Claridge's. Oh, I've got to <laughs> I say. Have oh, it's like a home Claridges. from home. I have to say, I think Claridge's is so iconically British. Mm. There are some hotels that are very well known that are quite touristy. This is the one that's still got the magic. 100%. It, this is the most special, yeah. for sure. Oh my God, this trick. I feel like we need to look at the train. Oh, no. If you're going to send someone a hamper, this would do me very nicely. What do we got in a Claridge's hamper? Christmas cake, tea, and tea coffee, Christmas pudding, wine, champagne, olives, which you must be all over this as well, the Negroni. I love it when they do that, the Negroni so just straight out. Oh, travel sweets. They are so my grandma. Family trips to yeah. Cornwall, travel sweets. Travel sweets. The barley one, the orange ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were never so good, were they? And you got the multicolored. The multicolored, the really dusty one. Right. Laura Perry Rosie. My favorite. Claridge's large Christmas pudding. Oh, you got a panettone as well. Check. Mm. I love Excellent. a panettone. Yeah, shortbread biscuit, shortbread covered almonds. Just honey covered. Can there. we just yes. open it? Can we just eat it all? No, we can't, Rich. Not, okay, It'd be very messy. Crackers. Yum, yum. You get a Fornicetti candle in this as well. You get a Fornicetti candle as well. Yeah. Where's he? Oh, yeah. For God's sake, have some champagne. Oh, we will. This is our October conductor. Our Express. We have our Christmas tree 2019. See all our little gingerbread. Cheers. Oh, there you smell can like. smell the gingerbread. Gorgeous. Very stylish, like everything that Claridge's do. Charlotte, can we see the Libby Express? Oh, my God, it's so good. Are you having a good time? I'm having the best time insane. There's, it's a restaurant Amazing. car. Oh, look at him. <gasps> oh my God. Can we go on? It is all go. This is the real behind the scenes. You don't need Where rich anymore. What are you on about? Oh, me on Instagram. <laughs> That's my life, you darling. Oh my yeah. God, I 
died and gone back in time. I don't think anyone would know if we just stayed here all day. Oh, Charlotte, can we just stay here? Happy Christmas, oh, Christmas everybody. Oh, look at this. The 25th of December. Oh, look at the plate. Look at the napkins. I mean, those. Oh, feel how soft that is. I mean, if I could have a menu, so that would be heaven. Do you feel pretty regal? I was born for this. I do actually. <laughs> I'm born for this. I have a real longing to do a train. I really just love the idea of a train. It's romantic, was, isn't it? Oh, look at these Oh, Luby Express. Express. Oh, amazing. Oh, <laughs> now <laughs> you're talking. No, when in Rome, drink champagne. Oh, I lost my glass over there. Quick, grab it, grab it, grab it. I rather like your hat. You do, right? Yeah. Yes, you Would you mind? It's very smart, isn't it? Yeah. Is it new today? Yeah, this, yeah. But you look like Cheryl Cole. Do I? Again, a fight, 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 fight. You look great. This is a do good one. Do I look like Cheryl? Exactly like Cheryl. I'm quite good at hats, so I told you that. Why, yeah? Thank you so much. It looks oh, better on you. When you get bored of it, send it my way. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Merry Christmas. Right, let's get off and get someone else a chance. Where's Anderson? It's very wet, yeah. Anderson. It's very cool in there. That is worth getting up early for this morning. What's now the trolley? The trolley's gone. I can smell the gingerbread. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm quite hungry. Oh, well it's from Claridge's. It's going to be good, right? I'm going to have one of these. Chestnut paste. How's it taste? Mm. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Parmesan. What's this? Pistachio cheese. Oh, thank you very much. How's thank it taste? Oh, yeah. Do you want to rent the whole place? Just, just, no, just. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the train. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. It's pretty good, right? Isn't it? It's, yeah. It's amazing. Why did you choose red? Why red? Because that's my favorite color. I know, I know, I know. Well, it's amazing. A Christmas. It's a Christmas color. I was going to wear my Louboutins today, but I was like, it's too cold. Is it? Can I have one picture Is really quickly? Thanks yeah. very much. There you go. Great work, G. Shuban. It's a shoe day. It's a shoe day. It's a shoe ban for a shoe lawn. I can take it to Russell and Bromley and be like, I see your real life shoes and raise you gingerbread version. How did that go? I mean, as far as Thursday mornings in November go. You do have to remind yourself that this yeah. is work. I, I do anyway. Yeah, like that's good. pretty cool, really isn't good. it? I think what they've created incredible. Amazing. That's a lobby of the hotel. I mean, I would say stop watching now. Just get down to Clara to queue up one of those four tables because that is the place to eat for Christmas. Where are we going now? To Russell and Bromley. Brand new store in Covent Garden. Which I'm excited about. From Chris and Newby Town to Russell and Bromley. Exactly. Shoe day. It's a shoe day. I actually think they're particularly good at this time of year. I Such do too. Such good booze. Christmas flats Yes, as well. Christmas flats. Sometimes. I mean, if all day, it drinks part of the evening. It's lots of flats. I'm going to find some of the new store. Here it is. Prime position on the corner of Long Acre and Neil Street. Hello. Yeah. Hello. What a morning be. I mean, I can play. It was, nice yeah, it was a pretty dreamy morning. Might be the day. We can try on some core boots. Core I actually quite like those ones. This might be the store that can convert me, Rich. We are here in Covent Garden at the New Brussels and Bromley Concept Boutique Store. Trying on some of our favourite shoes in store right now. Welcome. Thanks for having us. It's our first kind of concept store designed exclusively for showcasing our favourite product. Done like Chelsea boots and shiny crop. We're kind of updating our classics, making them a bit more relevant. For so what you find yeah. here, you're not going to find every Russian Bromley store. Well, there's a mix, but okay. it's a lot more edited. Okay. More of our kind of fashion, exciting. Okay. Oh, we're yeah. gonna have a little plan. All right. Yeah. Of course. Perfect. Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're cool. If you don't like the kind yeah. of cool witchy vibe, I have to say I'm really anti the witch, but, but that's a good version of. That's a gentle witch. It's a friendly witch. Sabrina, also, the teenage witch. I do you think they do good bags. You can't quite fall your Chanel. That is pretty close. Yeah, good spot. This one. This is nice. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. The leather is yeah, very soft. soft. It's just a crossbody phone cover. Every time I'm like. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I, I come back five minutes later. I've left it behind. It's a good Christmas present. This is what I want. I'd like both these of these. Are, these are amazing. You cannot okay. underestimate how useful a really good smoking slipper is. A white shirt. It's a coffee pair of jeans, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, this is so clever because they're actually I velvet. Know. Then you're not going to lose a stud. They are. Yeah, I feel them. They're not studded. So I have some any. studded ones that I bought in New York. I have lost yeah, three of the studs at the okay. tone. There's not really much to do about it. Yeah. Aren't they fab? Yeah. A bit like Charlotte Mine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you take something really tough. Give it a feminine edge. Stops it being quite so intimidating. Yeah. I'm collecting my shoes. It's like supermarket suite. Oh, look, these are nice. Yeah, they do a good 
trainer. I've These seen. are quite McQueen. They're they look really comfy. I like those. That's a good boost. That's isn't it? Love that one. Yeah, I'm gonna try these. These are very Trini. This belongs yeah. on Trini, isn't it? Just see this afternoon. That's cool, isn't it? I really like those. Nice. Very useful. They're quite fun. I really like a brogue boot. I know this is the one I wanted to try. Yeah, that's a good one. If you're looking for just a really classic going to last pair of black boots, whether it's leather or suede, this is actually the best place for them. That is just such a good boot. It's quite cool. Down here. Black. That is cool. Like that looks that. really expensive actually. Good boots. Okay. Picture me with all my shoes. I've just got a few to try. <laughs> These are very good. Work. A nice tweed jacket. Mm. Would you, would you like yeah, I think I'm done. You good? I think I'm ready to try on. Would you say you're true to size? Oh, I'd say they run quite generous, so we could go maybe half a size 39 smaller. 39 is perfect. Then. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of shoes. I know. Shoes. Best of luck. That. I think that's really nice in my outfit, don't you? It works very well. They're fun. All of these are fun, actually. We always get us so often about footwear for work. Those are the three, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, agreed. Hate them as well. Gonna wipe clean. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. What have you got? The Chanel style. Oh, I love it. They're cool, aren't they? Do you know what? It's very good here as well. We're both trying size six. Yeah, oh, okay. It's nice. It's a really chic toe, isn't it? Very good high room between a day and a night boots. Oh, what boots are you love. wearing now? Oh, look at those. I, I know. Really, really love those. Yeah. They look really so expensive. Tense. They are really Really comfy. Hello, Alexis Foreman. Hi, I just want to interrupt. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice. Oh, you look cool. Look, 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 look. She's too cool, isn't she? Where did you get those done? My local place in Brighton. Some people have said, oh, your nails are really dirty. I'm like, oh, I look like someone who I paid for this. I'm trying to cool. Yeah, it's so cool. What are you wearing today? On the top, Regina Pio. Earring. Jumper from Basilica, like a Russia label. Lee Matthews. Wool on trunk. Very cool. Also Basilica, this is a dress. And then Bottega Veneta. And a little Lifner. And nails. Bye. RJ's Hair and Beauty in Brighton. The girl who did it is called Bea. Oh, and a Daphine ring. Hang on, sorry, I've got a new pair on in the meantime. Charlotte, what boots are you wearing now? These military style boots. They are the comfiest shoes I've ever put on in my entire life. I'm going to try these. This is out of my comfort zone. It's what I wore in the cadet. Are you ready? It doesn't feel right, you know? What are you thinking? No, that's just silly. What I do like, however, these. These are cool. They're cool. I love that they're such a classic boot, but then they've got the brogue detailing, which just makes them that bit cooler. I think we'll have these forever. I mean, this is the place to go for Chelsea boots this year, isn't it? What boots are you wearing now? Mock crop ankle boots. They're so glamorous. This is the plain version. Yeah. Can't be wrong with a pair of those. Bella, what are you doing? Just filming social. Kind of the same thing that you're doing. Yeah. Trying to steal your content. I absolutely love the black Peter boot. Love them. They are fun. They are. A black combati version of a Chelsea boot here. Yeah. I'd wear these but I'm wearing today. Yeah. We are the new oh, Russell and Bromley story in Covent Garden. The new trainers. Oh, really cool. Really comfy. I love them. My outfit. Georgie, what were your pick of the store? I'm loving these trainers. I basically live in black and white, so these trainers are perfect. These these. People always say, what do you wear in the country in the evening? You wear a pair of these with a really nice chunky knit, great pair of earrings and some trousers. Love those. Chelsea boot with a bit of difference. It's got to be these. I think they're amazing. They're perfect. I love the gold. And the icing on the cake. It's got to be these bad boys. They look mega expensive. They're really comfy. They just give you a bit of an edge. What were your pick of the store? These combat Chelsea hybrid. Very classic, but a bit tough, a bit of an edge. Next up, hand on heart. This is the comfiest pair of boots I have ever tried on in my entire life. That's a definite win for me. And finally, these patient bad boys. They're very glamorous, very cool. And we'll go with everything. How did that go? Really, so really good. good. What a surprise. I think I was going there expecting to find lots of glittery flats, which I love. But actually, what we found was a really fashion forward, quite edgy cool edit of essentially boots. Also, with some amazing classics in the mix as well. Yeah, get yourself loved a Russell and Bromley. Get yourself a yeah. Russell and Bromley and check out their bags as well. Size Killer and their chest boots. Loved it. Loved it. Hello. Hello. Touch your makeup that I put on at 6 30 this morning. Fun early start this morning. What's happening now? It's a show. It's a Trini special. Yeah, it's not just any ordinary show. I it's a bit later than normal. Someone just messaged me saying, is there a show today? Yes, it's coming. But we basically asked all our readers what questions they wanted us to put to Trini. Everyone's basically a Trini fan. There's no point us writing the questions. We let our readers do it for them. Q&A with Trini. Going through her fashion picks. A few sequins. <laughs> one or two. You know, Trini, less is more. We're going to be looking at some of her skincare favourites. And hopefully a few new things from Trini London too. She's got a new shimmer product, which I'm really hoping she's caught with. Um, do you reckon she'll apply it to your face? I hope so. I'd be disappointed if she doesn't wrestle me to the floor and try and cover me in shimmer. <laughs> it just wouldn't but, be a Trini show. You know, it, it wouldn't be a Trini show without a bit of bodily contact. I'm ready for a bit of shimmer as opposed to shine. Shimmer without shiny. Do you like shimmer? I do, but it can look really oily. I'm sure she'll show me exactly how it's done. Here she is. She here. Oh, hello. Hello, are you 
Richard. Very well, how are you? Nice to see you. Hi, Hi darling. Hi, Chloe too. We're checking. Alison, you haven't Hi. met yet. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I've got okay. little things for you, but also to use on the show. I'm really you. hoping you're she, coming she, with she, some she, shimmer. She, 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 what was I just saying? Oh, look at This is our Christmas. It took forever designing this holographic bag. Do you want to do a what's on my desk? Trini Woodle. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here. Yes, what is it? What's on my desk? What's on your desk? a picture of my husband. Anyway, what's on my desk today? I'm going to show my lovely guest, Georgie, and this is a holographic bag for our Christmas Trini London. There's four wonderful gifts you can get, but I've put in it <laughs> sheer shimmer. Imagine you want to have the nicest, glossiest cheek and lip in a flash and maybe even put it on your eye. That's what this baby is. Four incredible shades, too warm, too cool. Afric, which is a J-Lo glow on your lip and cheek. But for little Georgie, oh, she's definitely going to be that. Oh my God, she can be that. So when, <laughs> when she wants, we're going to do Dido, named after a lovely PR girl. Gorgeous pink. I want to put Ooh, my finger in to show pretty. you, but it's so pretty on. Can I just do that? I'll be so you put it on. And yeah. me it has a that can go on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. I'll do your lips and cheeks. Open okay. up. You've already got a little bit on here. It's Open up a bit more. Bit more. Like you're a dentist. Like so, uh, 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 Ow! I normally say my dentist. What, Give me more drugs. Give me more drugs. I, know. I get gas and air at the dentist. You Good show. Gas, gas and air, air at the dentist. You're a really old fashioned dentist. Gas first, laughing gas. And I feel okay. And then I suddenly get so I say, ow, I'm going to be sick. And then she gives me pure oxygen. So that's you done. How's it feel, Georgie? It feels great. Am I shimmering? Shimmering. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Also, we really good. Very Emily. Would be lovely. Do you ever wear plum? Oh, no. You always do a smoky eye and a pale lip, mm. but you could be running out the house. Let me show you Dr. Alison now, because she's not dissimilar to you in colour. I'm going to open well. up, and I'm going to just do a little bit of Emily. So it's like that sort of, my lip has just come alive, and you can build it. She's got loveliest flush cheeks anyway. And then I could even do this, like a little wash, like an eye gloss. Yeah, it's pretty on the eyes. You're in the back of a cab, and you think, oh my God, I've got to go straight out for dinner, and I don't have my makeup bag with me. And you put your hand in your pocket, and you think, but I've she shimmer. I've got she shimmer. I'm I don't need anything else. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My godchildren. How many godchildren she got? She's like Marlon Brando. Then, Nine godchildren. Then my husband's got some. Also got reactions from my children. Already, nine's enough. I'm just great to be a godmother. Though. I had great attendance when they were Christmas. Then I set them up with little standing orders for things. Yeah, but then I took them shopping in Harrods. What are you wearing today? I'm Trini Waddle, and I am wearing a radio mic, a Victoria Beckham jumper from about three years ago, a River Island coat. I took the snaffle off. What's a snaffle? The snaffle is like that. Ah. But I took that off the side to make it look better. Serena Butte trousers, Hogan trainers, and I'm wearing. My favourite purchase ever it's from Warehouse four years ago. It's 19 pounds. So first got. Georgie Gorridge Cole, what are you wearing today? A Ganny blouse, a Sandro blazer, Zara jeans, and a Nina Bing boots. Oh, can you stretch as far as Earl Grey? Upstairs, upstairs chair. Upstairs in okay, so she managed with, to come with, tea with a tiny bit of milk and Thank two you. or three sugars. Two or, two or three, three sugars. sugars. Would anybody three else like a cup of tea? Speak now, I've already a piece. Oh, we did get the hound's tooth memo, didn't we? We so did. We're going to go straight in. Straight in. I'm working with a pro today. Yeah. No pressure. If the tea arrives when we're still talking, could somebody just bring it in? Come on. Go, 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 go. Thank you so much. I'm pretty cut. You're going to bring me back a chocolate digestive biscuit, isn't it? Yes, of course. You are. Goddess. Hello, and welcome to the Sherlock Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole. And I am thrilled to be joined on the sofa by Trini Woodall. What is your favourite city? And you're not allowed to say London. Venice. Um, she likes own cups. Venice is my favourite city. What are the top three products you can't live without? Skincare or anything. Any product. God! Sugar tea. Oh, great tea. Oh, I mean, that kind of thing. Sugar in my tea. Couldn't live without colour. Couldn't live without colour. Sequence. Sequence. Sounds tragic, but I've suffered from lip lines. Mm -hmm. Reflect back if the filler's a bad filler. Really aware of doing it. Good eat! Right, darling. So. Cute. I've got things I want. Quite cute. Quite cute. That's a sort of copy of Rixo. That's not bad, that one. I think that's horrible. Well, that's horrible too. That's granny. I quite like that. that. It's got a sleeve. Okay, all right, fine. I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Which side do you want to stand? Do you have a preference? Oh, this side, because just otherwise you won't see me so much. Okay. okay, all right. Anyone who follows Trini will know she's a serious sequin devotee. Try and imagine that what you try and buy now should be something you could really dress down. So you could literally have jogging pants, a white trainer, a white t-shirt, a necklace, and a sequin jacket, and lay it like t-shirts out. So you could dress that down so much that you actually think to yourself, I could wear it once a week. <laughs> Okay, fake tan. Let's go on to beauty. Let's not talk about fake tan. We don't agree on that one. Uh, don't comment on it either. Anyway, of course, everything featured. Let's go. Oh, I think this is cool. Yeah, you know, a is good white t-shirt. Why don't you try it on? You've got some of your favourite. Yeah. yeah, there's some things I've been Today. trying for a bit, and there's some that I've had in my wardrobe forever. Dead skin off quicker, so that hydration can go into the skin. A mist is a phenomenal transition for your skin. Okay. 
Okay. Use this in the morning, when you use this. Right, I've given you a homogeneous essence or a toner or a mist. Get your hands on some shea shimmer. It's definitely good stocking filling this year. And you're up. Okay. Very cute. Can I ask you one question yes. for our LinkedIn? Just one yes. question about yes. business. What's the best advice you've ever received that helps you in running your business? That there is no such thing as luck and about hard work. Eventually it pays off. You've got to put in the hours. Would you agree? I would so agree. You never know what's behind the closed door. Thank so you so lovely. much. You too. Have a great Christmas. Bye, yeah. ladies. Yeah. Lovely to see you. And you. How did that go? Well, it's Trini, isn't it? She just cool. turns it off. No rehearsal. Off we go. She changed my jacket. I think it was good. We'll see. We'll see where the comments come in. You didn't get manhandled too much? I didn't get manhandled. I got a bit of shoe shimmer, which I'm rather liking. I got a few tips. Quite like that Massimo Duty sequin suit. I'm not going to lie. And you know, maybe I should be planning my 40th birthday in Venice. Always fun to hang out with Trini. Busy day. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Bye, Trini. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.